The International Fisherman's Trophy, Halifax, 1920. In this first race between American and Canadian fishing schooners, the Esperanto out of Gloucester won over the Delawana out of Lunenburg. Determined to win the trophy back, the Canadians hired a Halifax marine architect, William J. Rue. And in March 1921, a schooner was launched from the Smith and Ruland shipyard in Lunenburg. Her name was the Blue Nose. Her skipper was Angus Walters, and together for the next 18 years, they would beat the fastest schooners in Canada and the best American challengers. The Blue Nose was more than just a fast boat. She held the record for the largest catch of fish ever landed in Lunenburg. She represented Canada at Chicago Century of Progress exhibition in 1933 and at King George's Silver Jubilee in 1935. World War II brought submarine battles to the Atlantic and the diesel engine was replacing sail. In 1942, despite Angus Walter's frantic efforts to raise money, the Blue Nose was sold to the West Indies Trading Company to haul freight. In January 1946, shorn of mast and sails, laden with bananas and rum, she struck a reef off the coast of Haiti and sank. <laughs> 